EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Martin here with your outlook for June 12th, 2023. You got the cloudy skies behind me. We're going to have some rainfall today, which is uh, not a normal thing over the past five weeks. Uh, we have a lot of uh, a lot of dry conditions that we have to overcome. We're not going to do it all in one day, but we are going to start putting a dent in it a little thing, a little a little bit this week at several different times and i'll talk about that in today's video first and foremost the monday video forecast is probably sponsored by kinsley's family market in broadheadsville monroe county pennsylvania it is june and at kinsley Shoprite, they have all of your summer favorites for dad and grad stop in and find all types of catering delights for your next barbecue birthday celebration wedding or baby shower they have the perfect party appetizers scrumptious scrumptious smoked meats the freshest produce delightful summer salads and fresh chicken and wings their bakery girls are busy decorating the delectable sheet cakes and don't forget the ice cream stop on in to the world's largest shop right and pick up all of your summer favorites they are kinsley shop right located at 107 kinsley's drive in broadheadsville monroe county pennsylvania proud sponsors of the monday video forecast so we have showers and we have some thunderstorms moving in today uh, the Storm Prediction Center does have uh, a marginal risk for severe weather across the eastern most portions of Pennsylvania, parts of New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland. I will tell you uh, that the bottom part of this, now this is, in fairness, this is a day two outlook, so they're going to probably adjust this around. Uh, I think the bottom parts of this below that line, well, actually not even that far, uh, I'd probably say these parts right up here northwest of that, uh, southeast of there, there's probably nothing. Okay, you might just have a few showers here. There's really not might, might not might not even be any thunderstorms southeast of that line. Uh, but areas northwest, uh, I don't mind the marginal risk that they have here because there could be some gusty winds with these that are 35 to 45 ish. Uh, you know, if, if some of these can get going. But we're gonna have cloudy skies this morning. It's gonna be rather stable. You have a few showers moving southeastern uh, through in our southeastern areas this morning. And uh, I think that is going to put a lid on a lot of the severe weather potential today. Uh, don't see a tornado threat today. I don't. Uh, I think this is just going to be a heavy rain threat for these thunderstorms that move through. Some thunder and lightning and some, uh, you know, some, some locally heavy rainfall. That is going to be your primary threat from this, okay? Uh, again, there could be some wind gusts, 35 to 45, but nothing really exciting. The lapse rates are involved with this aren't very good. Just not the greatest setup for a severe weather day. But uh, the marginal, I'm fine with. I mean, marginal is 5%, whatever. I mean, not impossible. Somebody gets a little bit rogue and goes nuts or something. But, I mean, that's, that's uh, you know, it, it's going to be the exception rather than the rule. So the biggest uh, part about this is going to be alleviating uh, at least a portion. That's gonna, not going to get rid of the drought that we're in currently. We're in a moderate drought across much of interior Pennsylvania. At the very least, it's not going to get rid of that. It is going to help, though. Every little bit helps. And this is just adding to that, okay? And this is going to be the first of a few chances this week. Uh, but this cold front's going to move through. And again, with locally heavy rainfall, that's going to be associated with thunderstorms that move through this afternoon, mostly. Uh, that will extend into early evening as well. And uh, that will move off quickly to the north and east. And that's where we're going to have uh, skies becoming partly cloudy overnight tonight as this pulls off to the north and east and then remaining mostly sunny on Tuesday. Uh, temperature today, 72 to 80. The coolest spots are going to be in northwestern areas. The traditional areas, southeastern areas will be 80. And then uh, same thing here on uh, we're looking like here on Tuesday. But uh, temperatures are technically very slightly below average, okay, like near to slightly below. It's not very much, but if we a couple degrees there uh, below average what it should be for this time of year for Tuesday in the wake of this cold front, okay? Before we go any further with Wednesday, uh, here's the NAM high res future simulated radar on the Zero Z NAM. I'm gonna start this off here at eight o'clock in the morning. And you see a few showers. This is the composite reflectivity that shows everything, okay? This is gonna show, pick up the lightest of precipitation as well. Uh, there was some opp uh, opportunities for some light showers in a few spots overnight, but that's kind of gone away. Uh, it's just in our southeastern areas here earlier in the morning. And then as we move through the afternoon, again, this is uh, starting off at noon, where it gets in our western pencil, our, our western coverage, parts of our coverage area here in central Pennsylvania. Not really doing too much here, other than the showers and garden variety storms at this point. But you see as it moves eastward, these storms get going. And the simulated radar is trying to show rainfall intensity and you see that picks up quite a bit as it moves north and east and that's right into that marginal risk area i don't want to get everybody excited here thinking they, they see these uh, cells here the individual reds on here and thinking that's going to be a severe storm because i just again i just don't think it's going to be a big deal 
today. You could have something isolated that gets a little bit feisty. But when feisty, I'm talking about like 35 to 45 mile per hour winds. And obviously, locally heavy rainfall is the biggest part of that. As it moves off to the north and east, it's going to continue the train over the same areas over uh, parts of eastern Pennsylvania, northeast PA. I think your card or rating here, this is really your your hot shot card or here of the most potential for the heaviest rain where those storms kind of train over the same areas. It is going to get into New Jersey as well uh, as far as, uh, you know, the storms are concerned, but it's just a lesser time there. So it moves off to the north and east, and it's kind of dwindling here a little bit as it gets into New Jersey. But New Jersey really doesn't need it as much as, as interior Pennsylvania. So these areas here, even though it's runoff, Again, every little bit helps. You don't want it all at once because then it just runs into the gutters and you don't get much absorption. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's still helping, okay? It's not, uh, you know, your grass is going to thank you the next day, next couple of days, as it goes from dormant stage to coming back to somewhat semblance of life again in the wake of this, okay? So this moves off to the north and east. And again, this is by mid-evening already. This is 10 o'clock. It's already getting ready to leave the coverage area and move off to northeast. Guys become partly cloudy overnight and then mostly sunny here on Tuesday, we saw the trailing upper level low. There's a, there's a very broad upper level low that's sitting up here across the Great Lakes, and that's going to have to swing through here. There's going to be a surface low attached to that, and that is going to bring some showers to our region. Uh, late uh, late Tuesday night in our central PA areas, and that's going to work its way eastward throughout the day here on um on Wednesday, and you can see that here on the uh, European model has some showers, scattered showers during the day here on Wednesday as this moves through. Very quick hitting wave though as this uh, upper level low is moving, and so is the surface low associated with it. So by the time we get to the evening, this is pretty much wrapped up, and that's it. And then the NAM is doing the same thing. It has this uh, coming in. This is going to run out of range here, but it has some showers working into our western areas late in the overnight. That's going to work its way further eastward. This is looking at the morning on Wednesday. It's just in uh, covering much of central Pennsylvania. This is going to run out of room here at this point. Switching the 12-kilometer NAM, taking it forward, and you see that continues eastward and brings some showers. Uh, generally light showers, but there's still the opportunity for... You know, you can get a couple tenths of an inch out of this easily as this moves through here during the day on Wednesday. And that again, that's done by early evening. Here's the total precipitation for this first event. This is what we're looking at. And this is convection related as we move through the day today. A lot of three quarters of an inch to an inch and a quarter over the region, okay? The inch and a quarter areas, and maybe even some locally higher amounts than that, are gonna be associated with thunderstorms and training thunderstorms. And again, the hard, the highest Carter is gonna be kind of like right in here, okay? Where you have the best opportunity to get the most rain out of this. And that's right in the middle of our uh, moderate drought, drought area, our D1 outlook, or the outlook for the came out of last Thursday from the uh, US drought monitor has, has us in D1, which is a uh, which is a moderate drought for much of these areas that are going to get the rain. So this is much needed rainfall for today. And then we get to Wednesday and it just adds to it. You get some additional, whoo, I'm getting way too far there. So there are other chances coming in here, but we get through, uh, through the Wednesday situation. It's not going to add a whole lot more to that, but every little, little bit helps, uh, here on, um, on that, with that Wednesday deal. And we get a little closer to that. I'll give you better numbers once this first system passes. Okay. Uh, we do have an opportunity with some, uh, according to the uh, the uh, European model, anyway, there is an opportunity for a late day thunderstorm here in some parts of the region on Thursday as well. Uh, but then we're back to partly cloudy skies on Friday, mostly sunny skies on Saturday. Uh, the European model is trying to bring something in here for Sunday with some more rain, uh, much needed rainfall. The GFS Canadian not quite as thrilled with that, so I'm then I want to get excited about the weekend here, or the second half of the weekend anyway. This would be Sunday. Uh, for if some more rain and uh, once we get throughout the week here and continue seeing these uh, the new runs throughout the week we'll see if this has any merit again it was just the European model showing this right now but there is the opportunity for something in this time frame for scattered showers and thunderstorms we will revisit that throughout the week though as we get closer we'll have a better idea and understanding of what this is going to do if anything at all again GFS doesn't have anything the or it has something but it's kind of like the wrong timing, I guess, is the best way to put it. And then uh, the Canadian model has nothing at all. It has a system offshore not hitting us directly. So we'll follow that throughout the week and see what we're dealing with. But again, today, scatter showers and thunderstorms. Most of the heavier hit areas that I showed are generally a 3 to 9 window. It might start a little bit earlier around noon in central PA. But uh, this will be a quick in and out. Some areas locally heavy rainfall. That is going to be the primary threat from any storms you see today. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for June 12, 2023. Have a great Monday.